Hi, it's Lipstick Gal. Thanks for watching today. I, I thought I would do something that I don't normally do that maybe I want to try doing more often, which is kind of like a chatty get ready with me. And so, I, first of all, I wanted to say, if you've already subscribed to my channel, thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments down below what sort of makeup or beauty videos are your favorite, and we'll see if we can do some of those. And if you haven't already subscribed, would you please? All right, so let's get into it. I have been so busy. Um, I'm gonna start here with the Silk Canvas from Tatcha. I think that a lot of it is just the fact that it's the holidays. And I have been, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's been happening. I feel like the time is slipping away. And I'm recording this, it's the 3rd of December. Hopefully it'll get up this week, if not early next. But I already feel like, you know, that train, that Christmas is coming train, like straight at me, and I, I am so unprepared. I did finally go out, get a Christmas tree, get it decorated, I'll show you a picture of it. We have 12 foot ceilings in our house, and I finally decided it was time to get a big Christmas tree. And where we live in the Pacific Northwest, we are like half an hour away from a local forest, so I can go to the forest service and get a permit to cut any tree as long as it's shorter than 13 feet for $5 and then you pay $7 as a parking permit just for like the snow park permit. And then you can go cut a tree, strap it onto your car and drive home for, what is that, $12? So I have a 12 foot tree in my living room. We have really tall ceilings. The ceilings in our living room kind of go like this. And at the very tip, it's almost 12 feet, oh, I guess maybe a little more than 12 feet tall. And we had to cut off the very top of the tree. So we lost about eight inches, but that star on there, <laughs> at the top is like maybe five six inches from the top top of the ceiling inside the house but I love it this is like my fourth year with a really tall tall tree and I'm loving it all right so recently I have been saying no to foundation and just been using concealers and I have this one from cover effects it's their power play and I really like it so I'm gonna throw a little bit of that on the way I apply this it kind of turns into foundation but I really like this stuff I've also really been loving this brush. This is the Love is the Foundation brush. It's heart-shaped from It Cosmetics. And this is, I think, the third year they've put it out, but I've heard so many people saying how much they love it. I was like, uh, okay, sold, finally, <laughs> after three years, I'll get one. So to kind of set my face, I'm gonna use a combination of hourglass powders. I'm gonna use this ambient lighting powder and diffused light underneath my eyes, and then the veil setting powder all over my face. This is kind of funny to me. Oh, by the way, I've been trying to finish this and panning this is harder than I remember. This is like my fourth one of these. I already have one kind of sitting in my drawer waiting for me to say, okay, I'm trying, <laughs> I can't get any more out of the corners and I'm done. But I'm kind of just sitting here like grinding in the corners to make sure I get it all in here so I can set my under eye. So my kids love Christmas and we have been, you know, kind of putting off getting out the whole Christmas thing until the 1st of December and they went hog wild. My kids used to share a room. I have two girls. They're two years apart in age and this year when my oldest turned 10 we gave her her own room. So we turned our guest bedroom into her room and then when we were decorating the Christmas tree last night she had this worried look on her face like oh, because for years we had one Christmas tree, a smaller one, that we put in the girls room and they could decorate however they wanted and they were like oh no and she thought about it she's like mommy who gets the christmas tree and i love that she never asked can you get one for me and then she says you know what it's okay i'm gonna let sister have it and her sister is eight years old and was delighted and it's the first time that i've seen my kids i've been telling them for years to treat each other with kindness to think of their sister like they would of themselves. So if you wouldn't like it done to you, don't do it to your sister. I can't tell you how many times I've said that to my kids. And this is the first time I've seen my daughter, oldest daughter, choose to do something without any ulterior motives for her baby sister, just kind of like, and I could see her face kind of going, hmm. she goes, it's okay. Give Lily the Christmas tree this year. And I was just like, oh. So I went right out to Walmart that night. I had to run out for bread anyway. We we're gonna need to make sandwiches for school. And I picked up a little baby tree <laughs> because I thought, you know what? That sort of selflessness and thinking of somebody else, especially when it's a relationship between two sisters who at times can be contentious, and they're very much in that. 
you know, trying to one up each other. They're both very capable, very smart, very, and so you definitely feel the competition between them. Um, I'm going to put on some of this bronzer here. And I just loved that my oldest daughter said, you know what, mommy, just give it to Lily. And I was just like, oh, my sweet girl. So I couldn't let her not have a Christmas tree in her room this year. So now there will be three trees in this house. <laughs> Mama's 12 foot tree and both the girls little baby trees in their room, which is totally fine. We love Christmas in this house. All right, if you saw my monthly favorites, you know I have been dying for this blush from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I have been thinking, you know, it's time to start showing a little, you know, blush love to some of the rest. Although I love this one, this one's in Sex on Fire. So I think I'm gonna try one that I haven't tried in a while. This is the Jouet, the Jouet Dash Bluo. <laughs> I can't talk. The Jouet Blush Duo. And this one here is in Adore. I just thought about something. I probably should have done my eyes first, but oh well. Um, I have loved this Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette for a long time. I've heard so many good things about it, finally got it, and I was like, oh yes, you are gorgeous. So we're going to mix um, probably just like all of these shades <laughs> and just lightly hit the tops of my cheeks. This doesn't have a mirror, so let me grab my hand mirror here. I just love how like blinding it gets. And I do find that sometimes it works better because it just kind of goes on. It's like, whoo! There's the light. Um, sometimes it looks a little too artificial because it's so stroby that I just um, take it down a notch by using a powder brush to kind of just to like buff over it. Not necessarily to do anything more than kind of melt it all nicely into the skin. So I'm just going to hit a few little areas here. I was like a little bit like right over the arch of my brow makes my eyes feel like they're just slightly lifted, my eyebrows. So I wanted to use a combination of shadows today from two different palettes. They're both from Pat McGrath. This is one that I recently got. This is the Bronze Ambition from the Mothership Sublime, like the mini palettes, the six pan palettes. But I also have this one here. And I think this one is also the Sublime. It's the Mothership. And it's the one that has the green in it. So I like using these darker colors here, and then I wanted to use maybe one of these special kind of crystal Cody toppers, like over the top. But I like the depth that I get from that one, and then the more mid-tone browns, there we go, from these guys here. So it's gonna be a little bit of a warm eye look, but it's not gonna be too much. All right, I'm just gonna hit this with a little setting spray before I put on my mascara, because every time I do it after, I always get like mascara either like transfer up here or down here, so we're just gonna hit it first. <laughs> uh, by the way, I'm just using some Fix Plus from MAC. This is the rose scented one. So we've been really busy since we got back from our trip to Ohio visiting family for Thanksgiving. Um, my girls are both um, quite musical. They take a lot of music lessons. Um, they're in a lot of musical groups at school, and so in a couple of days, my youngest, who plays the violin, has um, her youth orchestra performance. Um, my 10-year-old last night was performing um, with her small select choir at um, the local performance hall. I mean, the kids, we've just had a lot of stuff going on for the holidays, music here, music there. I mean, and there's still going to be, I think, like, after the one on Wednesday, three more musical Christmas performances until I'm just like, really? And I remember being that busy as a kid because my parents put me in everything. Um, I was in band, I was in choir, I was in orchestra. <laughs> I played handbells. I mean, like, and my kids are doing the same thing. My oldest is just learning handbells this year. So there's just a lot of music going on and I love that, but it's also, it's like, it's exhausting. And they always want the parents, could you bring, you know, some cookies or could you bring, and I'm just like, you can only get so much blood from this turnip <laughs> and she's out. <laughs> As a stay-at-home mom, I kind of walk that line of over committing and everybody thinking that I can because I'm a stay-at-home mom. Um, but the reason I'm at home is because my health has been really, really bad over the last six years. Um, and last year during the holidays, like the day after Thanksgiving, I got really sick. Um, and the Sunday after Thanksgiving, I was life-lighted for my local 
um, hospital to a major medical center in Seattle because I had bacterial meningitis after having had brain surgery in October. And then I had to have two more surgeries in December and it was just like drama. So last year's holiday season, I feel like I completely missed it. I didn't even get out Christmas cards. You know, when you're in the neuro ICU, the last thing you're thinking about is ordering those Christmas cards to send out to all your friends. So this year I still got to get the Christmas cards addressed and stamps for them, plus all the other stuff. Um, but I like being this busy as compared to last year being in the hospital. Like, it didn't even hardly feel like it was the holidays. So anyway, um, let's do, oh, okay, you see how my brain goes, kind of like scatter. It's like, ooh, shiny, ooh, squirrel. <laughs> That's kind of what I feel like. I have been on the hunt for a new fave but reasonably priced brow product. And these are the ones, just like a whole pile of them here, that I have. Some of them I already know that I like but I'm trying to see if I like some better than others. So let me see if I can find some for you. Now from the drugstore, I do know that I like this cover girl. This is their, what is this? Their ultra fine brow pencil. I have this one. I like this one a lot. I also like the NYX micro brow. Uh, this one here is an ash brown. I know I like both of those are very similar, very small, fine on one end, spoolie on the other. Thought I'd try some others. So I have this LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. It's basically the same thing, spoolie on one end, pencil on the other. Um, I also wanted to try the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. Uh, I also got this one from Essence. This is their Sewer Last 24 Hour Eyebrow Pomade Pencil. It's supposed to be waterproof. I also picked one up from Flower. This was, a, these guys were like, Five dollars and under and then this one here from flower I think is more in the seven dollar range and it's their draw the line eyebrow pencil I haven't tried this one yet I also picked up this one from elf this is their brow pencil this was like two or three dollars uh, the other one from elf was a little bit more expensive I've tried this one it's actually really good all right so I do have a couple higher end ones so I have this browder from pure I don't know that I'm gonna like that, but we'll see. Um, I have one from Wander Beauty. This is their Frame Your Face Micro Brow Pencil. And then I have this one from, it's Brow Power from It Cosmetics. It's their Universal. I know that I don't like this one. The pencil isn't small enough for me, even though it looks like it's like a little itty bitty guy. The other ones are slightly smaller. And I don't know whether this one, I've had it for too long and it's dried out, but I never used it. It came in a boxy charm and I hadn't tried it until I ran out of other things. So I tried it the other day. Not my favorite, um, but I think today, since I liked the other e.l.f. brow, I'll try this one here. This is their Ultra Precise, and we'll see what we think. I feel like Brunette might be a little warm. I don't know, maybe I'll have to get close so you can see, but like right here in my brow, there's like my hair is dark, and this is like a little more on the reddish side. I think I like this one better. Uh, this one here is in boy neutral brown neutral brown this elf one here this one is a little bit darker let's see if we can swatch them and you can see so this is the less expensive one this one I think is closer to like four or five dollars the little tiny guy oh yeah you can see so this one here is the two dollar one this is the more expensive one this guy here and you can see it's definitely has more of a red lean to it so probably not this one but I do really like this. I'm used to paying for the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I had a MAC one that I really liked. So I'm going to put more of this darker here. I'm just going to throw a little bit of this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. It's just kind of like a tinted mascara. It has a shorter wand, but I like the ones that are a little bit skinnier. I feel like I get less heavy deposits on my brows. And really all I want is a little bit of hold and a smidge of tint. So I have to be careful with this one, but the, I know there's one from Charlotte Tilbury, her legendary brow, see? That's what happens. And that's what I'm like, ah! That's And that happens at the fatter end of the brush towards the base, that that sort of thing happens to me. So I kind of have to be careful and maybe like only use the tip. Whereas the other ones with a much skinnier brush, it's easier for me not to have this sort of problem. but it's not hard to fix. Let's put on some uh, liner. I, I'm not gonna lie, I really have just been loving this. This is the Drama Liquid Pencil from Lancome and all it says now is Liquid Pencil because I've used it so much. This one, by the way, is, what shade are you? 
Do you even say, have I already sharpened it off? <gasps> I'll have to put it down below for you, but, or maybe I'll pop it up on the screen. But this is like my favorite dark espresso brown. That's it right here. It's dark. It stays in my waterline. I use it for tight lining. I really like it for that. So let me curl my lashes first and then I'll put this in and then we'll throw some mascara on. So my longtime love has been the Mr. Big from Lancome, but I thought it was time since that one's almost gone to pull out something that I haven't tried that I've been wanting to try been saving. See this jar right here, this guy, it's full of mascaras I haven't tried. Um, and one of them here is YSL's The Shock. I've heard good things about this. And so I like getting these little small sample sizes. So we'll try that one today. So I kind of like it. What do you think? I think it gives me a lot of volume like the Mr. Big does. Um, but I want to try it a couple more times before I like pass a verdict on it. But so far, so good. Uh, for lips today, I wanted to do a red lip. And I had recently fallen in love with Lisa Eldridge, uh, their Plush True Velvet lipsticks. I have all three shades, they're beautiful, but it reminded me so much of another really beautiful matte lipstick that I love. And this is Velvet Rope, and this is from Lipstick Queen. So I'm gonna use a Lipstick Queen lip liner in the shade Wine, and then a combination of these two shades. This is the darkest red. This one here is called Black Tie. And then the other one is called Brat Pack. It looks like this. And it's a little more, so this is a black tie and this here is Brat Pack and we'll, we'll see what our looks look like. So here's the finished look, kind of a more warm brown, almost bronzy look on the eyes. A little bit of that shimmery top coat from Pat McGrath. Um, the Shock Mascara from YSL and a bright, bold red lip from Lipstick Queen. I have been a long time Lipstick Queen lover and I think that Poppy makes the most incredible, amazing lipstick formulas. And compared to the Lisa Eldridge, I think the shades are similar. They're, they're not exactly the same. And this is also a matte lipstick, but this one is not as plush or velvet looking on the lips as the other one is. I saw someone, another YouTuber, uh, I saw Mel Thompson wearing the Lisa Eldridge ones and I knew instantly which one it was. I knew it was Velvet Jazz from the look of it. Um, and although you do get a really beautiful look from this, these have a little bit more um, of a creamy feeling to them, a little bit more emollient. They're remarkably comfortable, beautiful packaging, also has that um, magnetic closure, but these guys are 50 bucks a piece. <laughs> um, they're definitely more expensive, but it's a different feeling of lipstick. Although you still do get that matte look on the lips and I love a good red matte lipstick, but I need it to be comfortable. And this one certainly is, as is Lisa Eldridge, but I know that is sold out. Thank you so much for watching today. Uh, I hope your holidays are going well. Um, and I know this isn't the favorite time of year for everybody. If that's you, I've been there. I know what that feels like. So the holidays aren't forever. Um, but if you enjoy the holidays and you're having a wonderful time, uh, I think the one thing that I've learned in all of my years, the best thing is when it's so busy and there's so much to do, I told you about like my kids schedule with their music and everything else. The best thing for me to do is just to be present. Um, and I find that spending less of a focus on the shopping and the baking. I do a lot of holiday baking and the decorating and more just remembering those times not to be thinking about something else while I'm in the middle of sitting down and watching a Christmas movie with my kids or if we're in the kitchen baking together, creating it as a memory for them and not me to get things accomplished. That whole being present and really mindful of the time because the holidays are such a short time of the year but they pass by so quickly because we overschedule ourselves. So that's probably, and you probably already know this, but if you haven't heard it, just slow down, breathe, put your phone away when you're with friends and family and just enjoy. That Those have always been my favorite memories. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. I'll see you again soon. Bye.